The Cosmere is a shared universe of fantasy novels, novellas, and short stories by American fantasy author Brandon Sanderson. It's a universe of multiple different series and stories within it that all have some connection to each other. Some connections are very tenuous, whilst others are very obvious. But what order should you be reading the series in? What is the optimal reading order for this growing connected universe? Well, the answer to that depends very much on the person asking the question. Are you someone brand new to the Cosmere looking to get a good starting ground? Are you someone who has read all of the Cosmere and want to do a reread? Or are you someone looking for the optimal Cosmere order that will help you make all the little connections as you go from story to story? The answer to these questions will determine the direction you should take to read through the Cosmere. Luckily for you, I've taken the time to compile three primary reading orders based on your specific goals. In this video, we'll be going over these three reading orders, who they're designed for and what to look out for as you begin your journey. I'll keep this list simple and I'll avoid any and all plot spoilers as far as I'm able. If you have your own reading order that you prefer, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Anyway, that's been enough of me rambling on, let's jump into the meat of the video. Hey, just a second before we get into the video. Did you know that I'm aiming to hit 10,000 subscribers by my birthday this coming June? It's a bit of a crazy goal, I know, but if you'd consider subscribing, I'd be extremely grateful. Plus, it allows you to stay up to date with any videos I post. I regularly make content on the Cosmere, Wheel of Time, and many other fantasy series. And if you've already subscribed, you're absolutely awesome. Anyway, thanks for your time and enjoy the video. The Cosmia Newbie Order This reading order is all for the Cosmia newbies out there. It's for those of you who have never read any Cosmia books before but who are interested in jumping in. It's also for those of you who have perhaps read one or two Cosmia books, realize there's a larger scope to the universe, and are now looking for direction. If you fit in either of these camps, then this is the reading order for you. Let's go over the actual reading order and my reasoning for it. Then I'll mention some pointers for those of you who are about to start with this order that may help you as you read along. Also, if you're one of those people who started a Cosmere book or already read one or two, then you can still use this list. Just skip over what you've already read and follow the order of the rest of the books. First on the list, we have the Mistborn trilogy. Starting with the Final Empire, through the Well of Ascension and ending with Hero of Ages. Now, many people may disagree with my choice on this first, but please bear in mind that this reading order is not the optimal Cosmere order, but rather the friendliest one to new readers. The idea is to get you Cosmere newbies acquainted with Brandon Sanderson's style and work as smoothly as possible. Mistborn offers that because the first book could be read as a standalone without needing to finish the rest. Brandon deliberately wrote it as a standalone with sequel potential as he was still new at the time and had no way to confirm if the first book would sell well enough to justify the second. So while the books do lead into each other, the first book wraps up well enough that if you get to the end and you're not completely enjoying Sanderson's style and storytelling, you only had to read one book and got a concluded satisfying story out of it. On the other hand, if you loved it, then you'll get to finish the trilogy which has one of the strongest endings in the Cosmere, so Mistborn first for sure. Then you'll want to move on to Warbreaker. It's a standalone and is the best of his two standalones in my opinion. This way you get a bit of a break before the next big series, but you do so with a book that's not only very good, but that also has later Cosmere relevance. The next series you'll be tackling is Mistborn Era 2. This is a story set in the same world as Mistborn Era 1, but with different characters and a couple hundred years in the future. Some people aren't huge fans of Era 2 because the first book has a very western feel to it, but quickly progresses to a more Victorian England feel from there on. If that's a problem for you, you can leave this series for last instead, since it canonically takes place quite late in the timeline, but I would read it at this point if I were you. After the first trilogy and Warbreaker, you're only just starting to get a feel for the Cosmere scope. Era 2 helps you get a better feel for that scope since now it's not just a jump in space, i.e. new setting, but also a jump in time. Also, depending on when you watch this video, the final book of Era 2 is currently being written, so you may be able to catch up and be ready just as it releases. Next up, we have Elantris. Elantris is the other Cosmere standalone. 
It's Brandon's earliest published Cosmere novel and it does have some rust unfortunately. You can tell that Sanderson was still a newer writer at the time and as a result there are some issues with it, but I left it until this point for exactly that reason. By this point you'll be well aware of Sanderson and you'll be more familiar with his style, therefore a book that has some weaker moments will be less of a bother to you. Instead of a potentially off-putting introduction to Sanderson and the Cosmere, you now have a potentially insightful and interesting look at the earlier works of this amazing fantasy author. And I'm not trying to bash Elantris at all, I've always enjoyed it and I think it's still a decent fantasy book, I just have my issues with it and I think it doesn't do as well as an introduction to the Cosmere. Now the next series you'll be tackling is the big boy of the Cosmere. I left it till this point because you really should be more familiar with Sanderson's style if you're going to tackle this larger series. That's right, we're talking about the Stormlight Archive, a series that's still being written and an absolute mountain of a series to tackle. It's probably his absolute best work so far and that's putting it lightly. With the exception of the first book, each novel has a small novella that tells a story bridging the gap between the next book. Take your time with this series since it's a lot to take in to be honest. Once you're done with the Stormlight Archive, you're basically almost caught up with the Cosmere. The next series you'll want to read is the White Sand graphic novel series. I left this for last since it's the outlier of the Cosmere as it's not in a standard novel or general prose. If you're this far into the Cosmere then you're already pretty much caught up with all of it as of the making of this video. Finally, we have a collection of short stories and novellas all set within the Cosmere. The majority of these are within a short story collection called Arcanum Unbounded. If you've finished all the main Cosmere novels and stories, I recommend reading all these extra stories to give you a more fully fleshed out idea of the wider Cosmere. But that about wraps it up for this first reading order. If you're a newbie to the Cosmere, then I recommend using this reading order to get you started. And if you're about to start this order, then I have a tip for you. Keep your eye out for the name Hoid, H-O-I-D. This isn't a story spoiler, but any character in your read through named Hoid should be immediately and carefully examined and remembered. Anyway, let's jump into the next reading order list. The Optimized Cosmere Order Now, this reading order is for those of you who either don't care about being eased into the Cosmere and just want the best experience in terms of crossover references and the like, or for those of you who have already read a book or two, know you like Sanderson and just want the optimal guide to the Cosmere. Or maybe you've already read all the Cosmere and you want a more coherent reread, this will work for you as well. Now this order will be focusing on giving you all the relevant information as and when you need it. Therefore you'll notice that I broke up the Stormlight Archive. You'll be reading books or even series between each Stormlight entry, but that's by design. This is to ensure that you are primed with the right information as it becomes relevant in the next Stormlight book. It also helps things be a little less stale and more varied since you won't be going through Stormlight in one go. First on the list we have the Mistborn trilogy again. I kept this at first place since it's genuinely a very good starting point for any read through in my opinion. It requires no prior Cosmere knowledge and still serves as a good entry for those newbies of you who are picking this reading order over the previous one. The difference here is that I recommend reading the Mistborn novella, Secret History, right after you finish Hero of Ages. In this reading order, all of the short stories and novellas will also be interspersed between books for various reasons. Mistborn's Secret History has huge Cosmere relevance and will definitely pay off in later books if you read it right after the first trilogy. Next you'll be reading Elantris, still a good book despite my earlier criticisms. This serves as a bit of a break in the form of a standalone, but I also put this here because of a small easter egg in the next book that relates to Elantris specifically. Nothing major, but still relevant. Alternatively, you could leave this for just before the fourth Stormlight book, but then you'll miss the easter egg, so I don't recommend that. Also, once you're done with Elantris, read this short story Hope of Elantris. This is just an extra and has no cosmic importance, but adds a little bit to the story of Elantris. Then read Emperor's Soul. Probably one of the best novellas he's ever written and a stunning story that deserves a sequel or expansion. Next, you'll want to read The Way of Kings, the first entry in the Stormlight Archive. Remember in the previous section where I mentioned keeping tabs of any character named Hoyd? Well, if you've been doing that for this reading order so far, then this is where you'll start getting some major payoffs for being so observant. 
Coincidentally, you'll also get that with our next book. Next on the list is Warbreaker. Warbreaker is a pretty important book for the Cosmia as a whole, and I recommend reading it before the second Stormlight entry. Trust me, for Cosmia reasons, you absolutely do not want to read Stormlight Book 2 before you read Warbreaker. It won't ruin the story, but there's an important reveal that won't be nearly as impactful if you haven't read Warbreaker first. And once you've finished Warbreaker, you'll want to read the short story Shadows for Silence in the Forest of Hell. It introduces an interesting Cosmia concept, but isn't that influential in terms of the overall story. Now, as I said, you'll want to read the second Stormlight novel, Words of Radiance, at this point, followed up by Mistborn Era 2. Now, the final book of Era 2 hasn't come out yet, and there's apparently a lot of Cosmia reveals in that one, so if you're watching this video after that release, check my channel for any updates to this list as it may heavily be changed depending on what gets revealed. For now though, Era 2 up to Bands of Mourning is fine to read at this point. You can also read the Alamancer Jack short story between books 1 and 2 of Era 2. Next, you'll want to move on to the Edge Dancer novella. It's a nice short read and will help you bridge the gap between book 2 and 3 by reminding you of what happened and hinting at what might come. And once you're done with Edge Dancer, you'll definitely want to read the third Stormlight book, Oathbringer. At this point, we'll be taking a slight detour as you'll be reading the White Sand graphic novels next, followed by the Six of the Dusk short story. White Sand has some slight relevance for the next Stormlight book, but Six of the Dusk does not. I just put Six of the Dusk here since it's the best place I could find that fits. And finally, just before the big finish, you'll want to read the Dawn Shard novella. This has some major cosmic implications that I think we're still waiting to fully understand the scope of, but for now, it serves primarily as the bridge between Stormlight Book 3 and Book 4. And once you're done with that, we move on to the final book in this more complex Cosmia reading order. I'm, of course, talking about Rhythm of War, Book 4 of the Stormlight Archive. As of the making of this video, that book is the most recently published Cosmia novel, and thus stands as the perfect ending for this reading order. I personally am a fan of this specific reading order, and I'm even following it myself with my own Cosmia reread. Let me know if you tried this order for yourself, and let me know what your experience was like seeing all these connections pop up throughout the different stories. The Reread Order This final section will be the shortest of the video. This reading order is specifically for those of you who have already read through the Cosmia and now want to do a Cosmia reread. This order is absolutely not for new Cosmia fans, since I won't be making any consideration for easing into it or even for Cosmia relevance between different books. This order is purely for those of you who know the Cosmia already and just want a quick little guide on how to go about doing a reread. Most of the series in the Cosmia have been bunched together here for this reading order as well. First on the list we have Elantris. In my opinion, it's the weakest Cosmia book, so I recommend reading it first and foremost, followed up with the Hope of Elantris short story and the Emperor's Soul. Next, dive right into the Mistborn trilogy, followed directly by Secret History. Once you've done that, I recommend jumping straight into Era 2 and powering through all of those novels and the Alamancer Jack short story. Era 1 and 2 of Mistborn are often considered very separately from each other, but I find that reading them so close to one another gives one a greater appreciation for the individual stories and setting as it changes from one era to the next. Next I recommend Warbreaker, followed by Shadows for Silence in the Forest of Hell as well as Six of the Dusk. The standalone and two short stories will be a nice break after the long read-through of Mistborn Era 1 and 2. It also nicely primes you for the next big challenge to tackle. Yes, the next entry on the list is the entirety of the Stormlight Archive and the associated novellas. If you're doing a reread of the Cosmia and you don't need the Cosmia connections pointed out to you, then taking on the Stormlight Archive in one go is definitely the direction to go. It makes for a more immersive read and this way you've basically read the entirety of the Cosmia already with this reading order, so the relevant information will be primed in your mind. And lastly, I recommend the White Sand graphic novels. A nice way to finish off the read-through since it's a more relaxed medium and not as tied into the rest of the books. I will probably be following this order myself when I do another reread of the Cosmia. If you've given it a try, let me know what you think. And there we have it, my guide to reading through the Cosmia regardless of which angle you're coming at it from. 
Whether you're a Cosmia newbie or veteran, this guide pretty much should have you covered. Did I miss anything? Is my reading orders off for some reason? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's been it from me for today guys. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Ben Raven and I will see you all next time. Take care everybody.